Hey, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So still on models, uh, sorry for taking so long, but uh, this is a fun subject. So it's good that uh, if you can know how to deal with models and such. So what I want in the model, first of all, is I want this to be active. Once the model is on, I want uh, this to, to be focused. And also I want, uh, what was the thing I wanted? Uh, I've completely forgotten. Oh yeah, because we have, we're going to have several models. So I want to generalize these functions. So here uh, there's amount paid model, right? So what I'll do is I'll copy this. I'll just say copy amount paid and then put an if statement and say, if, uh, let's say model is equal to amount paid and then we will do this okay let's move that in there so exactly this we're going to copy and do it uh, right here okay great so now we're going to need two things there's the e uh, which is the event and then here we're going to tell it what model we want to deal with here it should just be model so we need to supply that and that as well okay so then uh, i can remove this in between and just say uh, show model and then hide model that's it show model hide model then this will be the model name so here we're going to say amount paid amount paid okay great now let's try and uh, see how this will work so let's also remove this here show amount paid model let me remove all those instances so show model here what model do we want to show so i'll put in simple quotes it's amount paid uh, here hide model which model do we want to hide because there will be many right so this one is the amount paid model as well so I'm going to just copy this and hide model after the event same thing here put a comma put what model you want to close so from the perspective of our program nothing has changed because it will still work fine okay uh -huh. Now I want this to be active, so what do I do? I'll give it a name so I can reference it. So enter amount paid. What's the class? Class JS amount paid input. Okay, doesn't need a name because we are not actually submitting any forms. So I will have this input paid. So in order to limit the search, I'll use uh, this div as a search uh, to search for this and then activate it. So let's see here, show model. That's the function name. Let me just find it. So show model and there we go. So my div is the actual div and uh, we remove that height but then we're going to say uh, my div dot query selector what are we looking for dot input and then say dot focus and then the same thing again uh, but instead of starting with the focus we're going to say dot value is equal to empty. So we want to clear whatever value is there because you see these are actual uh, HTML elements. So whatever I type in here, for as long as the page hasn't refreshed, it remains. So if I try to check out again, I'll find the old amount there. So actually, let's just put 0.00. .00 as uh, no the value should be empty let's see let's change the placeholder 
Uh, actually, maybe let's leave it there. Let's see how this works. Refresh, click, oopsie. We done made a mistake, uh-huh. Uh-huh. What mistake have I made? Usually, when I'm adding things, let's see, form control, input, what have I done wrong here? Class. Huh. Let me do a hard refresh. Enter amount paid. Okay. So the classes are not working on this thing. Why is that? There's form control here just fine. And then uh, I don't see what I've done wrong. Let's see here. Uh, amount paid. Amount paid input dot value is equal to that dot focus. This all seems fine. So let me undo. Maybe I'll figure out what wrong I have done. Where we went wrong. Let me save here. Refresh. Click. Okay. So things are still broken. Let's go back here. Maybe where we added the name there or removed the name. Nope, things is too broken. Uh, oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so let me redo everything. It's the classes. See, when you add uh, two, I've added class here and also added class here. So it ignores the second one. So all I need to do is put the classes in the same place. Just separate them with a space. And let's remove this. Alrighty then. So refresh click there we go enter amount paid and then we will do likewise now when we click this button something else should happen and that's to check uh, the amount against the total here and so on now we don't want the checkout thing to appear if there's nothing in here right so if I click checkout it should tell me oh please add some items instead so let's go to the show model and if this is the model right here amount paid what we'll do is we'll check if items because if there are items in there then they'll be in the items array so we say if items dot length is equal to zero okay meaning there's nothing in there then we're going to uh return we can do anything but before we return let's show an alert yeah we say please add a valid uh, let's see here please add something to the cart Or we can say, please add at least one thing to the cart or one item to the cart. That sounds more appropriate. So click checkout, please add at least one item to the cart. If I add an item, then it comes. See, there we go. Click a D click and cancel. Click checkout, there we go. So when we click next, um, it should evaluate before we go to the next part. So it's going to evaluate and uh, tell us what to do. Now, the other model that we want is the one that shows us the change. So once we see the change, um, then we can do uh, finish or continue. Mm, as it's change yeah actually that's all we need so once it does the change thing it should empty the the thing here so it will show you your change and then empty that so let's create that model so cancel this 
Okay. So let's go to models and where we have these models here. I'm going to duplicate this and give this one a name. I'll say uh, enter amount model. And then put end. Okay. Let's move it inward. And then here, let's uh, duplicate. And this one is instead of the enter amount, this one is the change model. So this one doesn't have an input of any kind. It just has a div. Uh, so here, let's write change. Okay, and then we have, we don't even have a next button, we just, actually we have a close button, which is good. Instead of close or cancel, it should be proceed or continue. Okay, and then instead of <clears throat> amount paid like this to be the model name, it's the... Um, change oops that's not how you write change okay change uh yes that's the model name uh -huh. so js paid amount paid or js uh, change model uh -huh. now since we don't have an input here we will have, um, this is called an input still. Let's leave that class. I'll just change this to a div and remove that placeholder. Let me close that div. Okay. And then here the change, let's put a template of 0, 0.00 and uh, form control, not really the thing text uh, center to center the text and maybe let's change the font font size to uh, 30 pixels okay very good so we have all these to hide this model but we have nothing to show the model with so what i'll do instead is um i need to put the show model on a like this one here on click show model let me put it on any button and let me try on this cart written cart here that's not where we will be activating it from though but uh, we're just using that for now so I'll put it on the h3 here of the cart and instead of amount paid we will show this as um, change because that's the name that we're going to give this model so if i go down to uh, here where we open and close this model is equal to that then this is what we do but let's do an else here and duplicate the if statement one more time so i'm going to duplicate this Control shift d and this one is let me do this oopsie what have I done? What have I done? Okay, so there's amount paid here, but let's change that to change. Same thing here, uh, change model, uh, change model. The change input doesn't need to be focused or give it uh, the value though. Let's give it uh, something like, actually it's not value because it's a div. It's going to be in HTML and Let's just say $2, 2.00 or oh, 2.99, just so we see that it's working. Uh, we don't need to check if there are any items because once we are at this point, we are past that. Uh, remove the hide. Okay, that works. Here, let's do the same thing and put an else statement. And uh, let's move this along. 
and this one goes to change just like with the other ones uh, same thing here change and hide okay so let's refresh and if i click cart nothing happens right right but if i click checkout nothing happens either hmm. let's see if we have errors yes we do have errors so let's fix those errors in the next video